seeking to divide the people. And you can recognize them once you're awake. Once you have discernment, you will recognize them. Map the artificial habitat proto-matrix grid. And a proto-matrix is a matrix that's not complete yet. The Matrix movie, as I said with Terminator, was actually written about again in the 70s. You can pull this up. It's in my book, Descent into Tyranny, online. It's free online everywhere. Where the Pentagon talked about all the things you basically see in the Matrix as their own crazy vision of how we're all plugged into machines. Incrementally, we're being programmed towards interfacing with the machines into buying into the false reality, buying into the robot cars, the robot houses, the robot helicopters, the robot drones, a system where we're displaced from everything and these big automated systems run everything so that we don't have a choice, so we don't live on the land, so we're not independent. And all the government documents and all the government training is attacking those Amish and those farmers and those separatists and those people that want to be left alone and grow their own food. They've got to be watched. They're dangerous because it wants to force you into its system where it controls you. Realize that it's happening. It's part of this dependence control grid that we're facing. Don't underestimate the enemy's twisted designs. If you can think of it, they're doing it. <laughs> I played this game at the office. We come up with the most wild thing you can imagine. The government's doing it. Just type it into a search engine. Oh, they're doing it. Oh, they've been doing it 20 years. It is mind blowing to see this going on. It is mind blowing to see this happening. But don't underestimate your power and the power of action. And I'm gonna give you some examples of this. Last night I'm driving up here and we wanted to get some bottled water. So we we pull in to a CVS pharmacy partway to Dallas. And I'll walk in and there's like giant take your flu shot signs and there's uh, fluoride water for babies everywhere. So I, I shoot like a two minute video and like a third of the comments were, I can't believe he wasn't thrown out. I can't believe uh, he got away with this. And I'm like, I had to wait 10 minutes for one cashier to show up. These are all corporate robot drone systems shutting down our economy by design to make us dependent. There was no one there. So what did they Hey, I'm shopping here. I want to show you're selling mercury-filled shots to people and fluoride on record that gives kids brain cancer and bone cancer. I mean, so what? But... But what's amazing about this is, is that people didn't believe I did it. Like, it was so bold. He, he walked in for two minutes and showed somebody something. That's, that's that guy's, he, it's got to be fake. Uh, uh, I mean, who are these people that they think to turn up, I mean, literally, I'm walking along to get some bottled water, and I'm like, it's all got fluoride in it for babies. And I'm just going, oh, we got this going on here. Yeah, and, and, and people think it's fake. So don't underestimate the enemy's twisted designs, but don't as, underestimate your own power. I mean, looking at this, I sneak into Bohemian Grove. People can't believe I actually did it. <laughs> no, but, but there are hundreds of examples of, of stuff I've done, and I'm nobody. Any of you could do similar things. As long as you're mission oriented and like a, hell, my dogs can go out and catch rabbits or squirrels all day and kill them. Not because they're superheroes, they just go out and do it. I mean, it's not hard. But, but, but my point is, is that, is that I just went through, I BS the Secret Service, I got the footage, I got out. People were like, it's impossible. No one can get in there. No one could do that. And then I stormed the Texas Capitol. I was ready to be arrested. I stormed in. Hey, you're going to let the TSA grope everybody after you unanimously voted to do it? And people said, people said, they said, it must be fake. No one could do something like that. Well, I bet there's people in this audience who stormed the Capitol with me, not once but twice, right over here. What, are you a government agent, part of a Hollywood film? You mean, oh, yes, he is. He says he is. The point is, is that hundreds of times I have done things that were easy to do. 
And everybody's like, that couldn't be real. Why, he couldn't, couldn't possibly do that. And that's this idea that you're little. You don't have power. You can't get stuff done. It's ridiculous. I never intended 17 years ago getting an access television show in Austin, Texas. I never intended to now, 17 years later, conservatively be reaching 15 million people every week. I, I mean, I never even... But, but listen, I'm just an average guy from Dallas, Texas, who woke up to the New World Order. I mean, l listen, again, I am nothing special. I'm just an average person. You attack me, I'm going to attack right back. It is, it is such a simple equation. I've simply stood up 17 years ago, and I've seen devastating effects on the globalist. I've had victory after victory after victory after victory after victory. But I will tell you the key ingredients, hard work, research, doggedness, and fearlessness. Because once you commit to something, that's just the way it is. And that's nothing special. That's a human trait that I share with my ancestors and that you share with your ancestors. And they globalist, the globalists cannot th take that away from you. Here are some of the points. Bohemian Grove, people didn't believe that was real, even though they admit it and were threatening me. Uh, I've called the FBI on air. I've called the White House. I've called Homeland Security. Uh, yeah, uh, I've interviewed witnesses. The underwear bomber was put on the plane by the U.S. government months before it came out. And they're like, uh, we're not going to take that report. Click. And listeners see this on the air and on TV, and they go, that couldn't be real. He wouldn't call the FBI. That's Jack Bauer. They'd come cut his, cut his body parts off. You know, that, that's fake. Bohemian Grove, calling the FBI. They didn't believe the CVS was real. That's not like it's courage. Like, oh, I videotaped something. My God, it can't be real. He actually videotaped it in the store. Like, I care what some store clerks say. Like, if a store clerk comes around the corner, uh, sir, you're not allowed to videotape it here. <laughs> oh, God, my life's over. <laughs> I mean, oh, really? This is really getting to me right now. <laughs> Now, if somebody calls up and threatens to kill your family, that does have an effect. You just double down. The point is, is that the average person is so disempowered, and it's sad. Again, you got power. Use it. Stand up. You're only alive once. You only got red blood pumping through your veins. We all got red blood. You only got it one time, folks. That's it. It's all a test. And at the end of my life, I can say, I've made a lot of mistakes, I've had a lot of problems, but you know what? I didn't cower at a bunch of scum and I stood up to them. And that's what matters. We're told these lies that you can't fight City Hall. Every time I see people actually get together and keep fighting City Hall, if they've got justice on their side, if they're right, if the system's wrong, they may lose two, three, four times, but everybody I've ever seen who keeps going and going and going and going and saying, I don't care whether I win or lose. I'm going to keep on a coming. Nobody can stand up against that. In fact, it was the founder of the Texas Rangers that said, I'm going to probably butcher this from memory, but a man in the wrong can't win against a man in the right who keeps on a coming. It is that commitment to keep on a coming that is going to defeat the globalist. Continuing with successes. We can fight City Hall. We are fighting City Hall. Look at We Are Change. A 19-year-old kid, part of New York 9-11 Truth. Luke Radowski gets kicked out of 9-11 Truth because his foundation funded in New York. He's getting into the New World Order. He's getting into how America is controlled by these banking interests. He's, he's not just blaming America like the globalists wanted him to. He's actually realizing there's a group above America using us as their power slave. And they tell him, you're out of the group. Then I get calls. I get invited to join. And, oh, these people want to meet with you and all these fancy rich people. No, I don't want to meet with you either. So I call Luke up and I say, well, they don't want me to talk to you. I better get you on. And I get this one 19-year-old one kid from New York. There's now like 400-plus groups all over the world. We are change, real change, fighting the globalists. 
another example of what action does. The universe responds to it. The universe responds to commitment and honor and sacrifice. And that's one of the biggest solutions here, and I'm going to get to it right now. Look at Ron Paul. In the space of four years, he's more than doubled in all these states the amount of votes he's getting. He's winning almost all the stroll polls, the debates, being short shift on the time on the debates, being attacked, everything, and now it's all over the news, Washington Post, you name it. Oh, he really did win Maine. Oh, there was, they are throwing the election out in Iowa, but we're not going to say why. Uh, the same thing in Nevada. They, look, Ron Paul, look, you see a hundred Ron Paul stickers. Well, I've never seen a Mitt Romney sticker. I, have you? Have you? I've been all over the country. Have you ever seen a Newt Gingrich sticker? No. No. You've not seen a Santorum sticker? And they can steal these elections, but they cannot steal the fact that it changes month to month. He gets between 71 and 75% of all military donations. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that scares the hell out of the New World Order? I mean, they're like, get the drones in the air and the robots on the ground as fast as possible. And I get all the DHS memos, the police and military send them to me. It's all. The veterans are terrorists. Get ready to kill them. I mean, it's just like, remember when four years ago when I got those documents and nobody believed them? Where it's like, the returning veterans are the number one threat. And Ron Paul supporters are number two. And uh, there's an anti-tax movie by Aaron Russo that's number three. Uh, these people don't like the Federal Reserve, which we all know is government. They actually told the cops that. And then the cops go look it up and find out it's private. See, the lying runs out at a certain point. And I can't tell you how many military people, brass, you name it, talk to me on and off air, and they tell me, oh, about 80% of my command's awake, 70%, rarely it's below 50 and I mean, they're waking up fast. They're waking up fast. They're waking up fast. Yeah. And the globalists, the globalists, they want to get us into a new war because they know Americans, once we're in a war, will kind of, well, I don't trust the government, but we're in a war. You know, I better do what I'm told. The point is that trick only works so far. The fact that we've gone from Ron Paul 15 years ago, 16 years ago when I was first interviewing him, getting no co-sponsors to audit the private Federal Reserve, to passing it in the House, and the Senate had to kill it procedurally. You're like, well, they still killed it. Oh, yeah, he's about to get the votes again. The point is we've gone from nothing to passing it. The point is, okay, they're cheating Ron Paul. We show everybody how they cheat him. And he goes around and educates people. Resistance is victory. Every time we decide to stand up to these bullies, we get stronger each and every time. Don't you see it? More solutions. 15 years ago, 13 years ago, you couldn't find organic food on a store shelf. Now, even at mainline grocery stores, half of it's organic, or at least they say it is. The point is we're winning, voting with our dollars. That's a blueprint to defeat the New World Order. Did I mention all of this is the fact that we have the power, we've got the energy, we're the people, we're the mass, we're humanity, and these globalists that think they're God are a bunch of malfunctioning, aberrant psychopaths. The in the Fed movement's exploding, the organic movement's exploding. Suddenly, every grocery store I go to, two years ago, it was like the trendy places. Now it's regular grocery stores. Oh, we don't have BPA in our plastic baggies that sterilize you, give you cancer, women breast cancer, men prostate cancer. Uh, we don't have BPA, we don't have fluoride, we don't have, oh God, we're not any part of that. No, 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 buy our stuff. See, you take action, nothing can, that's why if you look at three years ago when it came out, the swine flu doubled your chances, the, the vaccine, doubled your chances if you took the vaccine and getting the flu the next year, had all these health problems.